I had my mask on today because I had another dental visit. I've gotten very experimental with masks and I'm starting to enjoy making them. This one is a new style. I'm using a button and an elastic to attach it instead of all thick elastic. Let me show you. Anyway, <clears throat> I've been listening to the news, of course, and uh, most of the time I just um, sit there and shake my head at the strange things I'm hearing. Sometimes I have tears in my eyes listening to all those things, although I don't even know if those things are true. Anyway, something happening in Florida, the schools are being opened and um, children are supposed to return to school in person. I think they're being given a, a choice, two choices, return to school or continue to do schooling via the internet at home. But um, they have another choice. I don't like it when somebody tells me well, you have two choices. You have three choices. What do you mean? I have lots of choices. I don't have to do anything. And um, if it's a doctor or a veterinarian, I can change veterinarians and get a second opinion, a third opinion. So whoever is in this situation, whatever state you're in, think about the choice that the school system never mentions because they don't want you to do it, and that is homeschooling. In the United States, it is legal to do homeschooling. They have some requirements, of course. Uh, you have to present them with a curriculum, a plan of, of learning. Um, you can either buy one of those plans. They have all different styles online of homeschools, or you can make up your own. And I think occasionally they will uh, have your child tested by uh, a certified teacher to see how they're progressing. Um, also, there might be some states that require the child to be tested by a psychologist. Uh, I'm not too crazy about that, but you know, I've met some very crazy psychologists in my lifetime, especially the ones with a PhD. Anyway, a few years ago, I was uh, thinking of making my own homeschooling. Um, I got a few cha chapters that uh, I kept copies of. But I just want to go over this a little bit to show you how easy it is to make a lesson plan and even fun. One of the things you could do is get a map. If you're a member of AAA, the Automobile Association, they give free maps. You know, you can get this world map. It's very big, and you could teach the, your student, your child, the uh, geography. I mean, these things are really nice. Hey. To learn how to fold it. <laughs> anyway, um, so you make a plan, and uh, of course you include uh, a bibliography. You know, you can use a dictionary. If you want a Bible homeschooling, you could do that. You could use several different types of Bibles. You could study language, not just English, but also Hebrew, Aramaic. Um, an encyclopedia would also be useful. And there are websites like noaa.gov where you could teach about astrology, not astrology, astronomy. You know, the moon phases, sunrise, sunset. You can teach art. 
you know, the different types. Um, pop art, impressionism, etc. You can uh, draw your own draw your own pictures. You can have the student draw. You can do all kinds of fun stuff like have the kids um, practice make, making up a uh, ancient map. Um, things. This is a, tip, a typical type of art. Um, and what about mathematics? In the first few chapters of Genesis, um, there's talk about the size of Noah's Ark, um, the cubits. Um, there's a lot of math there. There's also uh, interesting studies you could do about animal care. Think about all those different animals on the Ark. You can ask your child, your student, questions like, if you were on the Ark, which animal would you like to sleep next to? You can have your student, your child, uh, draw pictures. And uh, there's so much talk about things in nature, especially soil. Then you could start teaching a child about uh, what soil is made up of. Organic material, clay, soil particles, sand, rocks. I mean, it, it could go on and on. So don't just feel hedged in. Like you have to do, you know, whatever's being presented to you because I can guarantee you that the powers that be, the government, the school system, the medical industry, when they want you to do something, they're not going to give you all your options. I went to the veterinarian recently with my dog, and I said, well, he's been scratching. And um, she looked at his skin, and she said, this looks like perfectly normal skin. But since he's scratching, you can give him one of these three medications. <clears throat> and I said, well, what if I don't give any of them? And she didn't answer that. She just said, these are your three choices. And then she told me the three medications. So, like I said in the beginning of this video, I have a lot of other choices. I could do nothing. I could go to another doctor. Anyway, I'm going to another veterinarian. Um, homeschooling. I've met children that do homeschooling. They're very polite. They're not like the kids in a public school. I've also visited charter schools. I was the coordinator for school health in my county's uh, health department. And the charter school, they were so polite. I mean, they were even saying things to me like, ma'am, can we help you with your bag and, and your bundles there? You know, because I was carrying all kinds of notebooks and paperwork. It was amazing. Now, we also had a school that had students there that were court ordered, that they had gotten in some kind of trouble. And even in, in that school, um, I found the kids very easy to talk to. Now, the instructors there were not easy to talk to. Forget it. So, don't, don't just hand, hand your kid over to whoever. Uh, if, if you're doing homeschooling, you don't have to be worried about a male teacher trying to seduce a female student. You don't have to worry about a female teacher trying to seduce a male student. You don't have to worry about a school shooting. Think about it. Homemade is best, always. Our culture has gotten a little bit too modern. And everyone's just rushing around. Think about when you were a kid. Did you like to go to school? Wouldn't you rather have stayed home and, and played in the yard and do a little studying inside and then in the afternoon play with the other kids on the block? 
Um, think about it. Any questions, let me know. And uh, don't believe everything they're telling you. There's, there's plenty of websites that will give you the other side of the story, whether it's about immunization or, or anything.